Hey guys, Oster, and welcome back to another Minecraft mob out here on the channel. Now, today's fight is an interesting one and required some preparation, which I'll be going over soon. But we have another fan suggested fight. It is Mecha Godzilla from the Goji Craft mod facing off against the Hercules Beetle from the Chaos Awakens mod, aka Orspawn. So this is going to be a fun fight indeed. Now, the Goji Craft mod recently got an update where Mecha Godzilla no longer crashes, so we can now use that in our entire mod pack. So yay! But, if you're wondering why I have a redstone block in my inventory, it's for these two command blocks over here, which you'll- I'm not gonna tell you what they do, but I'll let you guess. If you can guess it before it happens, then- then good on you. But yeah, I had to remove a few things in the arena, also best- based on the- the fight, because I did a test round, and I came to some conclusions, which I'll talk about once I- once I need to do them. But, of course, if you guys have been enjoying the Mob Bells on channel, smash the like button, share your support, consider subscribing if you're new, and let's hop right into this. Also, I removed the dome. The invisible dome around the air arena, so we actually do have uh, air to make room because Mech Godzilla is huge. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this. And before I get started, if you of course have any fight suggestions, comment them down below in the most thumbs up comment with the one picked for next time. I typically upload this series every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but of course, you can always just check my community tab as well for updates on what, when I'm gonna upload videos. Either way, let's do this. So, Mech Godzilla. Three or 600 health, three armor bars versus one Hercules Beetle, 250 health, 20 armor bars. Let's do it. Also, I don't know what this is that he does, but it's like a, a spinning vortex. I don't know what it's all about, but Hercules Beetle going in. Hercules Beetle going in right now. So does he have to like hit the shield before he can deal damage? Oh my gosh, there's block damage. Oh my gosh, he's causing block damage. Alright, Mechagodzilla surviving uh, the first round. Um, where's my kill all command? Kill all command. I was hit, I was testing a lot of commands during this. Alright, so now now you can probably guess why I need the, uh, the command blocks. Yeah, this fire doesn't go away. So, what we do is we put a one redstone block here. Cover the whole arena in water. Place another redstone block here, and we're good. Now, oh my god, it's still broken over here. I was going to say, so if you're wondering what I had to keep doing here, was, if you guys don't know, in 1.16, they changed how water physics work, where it now can go through fences and stuff. So for building structures underwater, you no longer have to deal with the pesky, it gets all blocky and glitchy or whatever. However, 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 um... There's, of course, the chance of something like that happening where it literally just, uh, it, it gets glitched when you do a command. Also, why I replaced all these top slabs up here with, uh, regular blocks and why I had to get rid of all the slabs down here was because, again, literally, the, uh, that happens. Also, I'm going to just fill in these holes right here, but I don't think I need to worry too, too much because the ground layer is all obsidian, so if he breaks the first layer, we should still be good. Either way, this is the, f like, just so you guys know, there is no way for block damage to occur in this world, but he's still doing it. That's how powerful he is. Either way, next round, two Hercules Beetles versus one. Let's go. I have to remember to put him in the center, otherwise he can get, he might get stuck. Oh, he's not doing his Vortex this time. His shield Vortex. Alright, go Hercules Beetles. Also, if this is your guys' first time seeing uh, this thing from Chaos Awakens, I recommend uh, checking out my Chaos Awakens mod reviews. I've uploaded, like, at least six different ones at this point. Of different versions and different mobs and stuff. Either way, looking like the Hercules Beetles coming out on top. Jeez Louise, guys. Okay, I need to... There we go. Good job, guys. Also, okay, that's why that was highlighted. I was like, why is that highlighted? Alright, well, I'm surprised that two Hercules Beetles took down the Mecha Godzilla. Uh, one, two, question mark? Can I even spawn into? Is there room? Okay, there is. Versus one, there's no room. There's literally no room to spawn in. Two, there we go. My goodness. I was like, there's no room. <laughs> And before anyone says, we'll do the fight outside of the arena, guys, if you've seen me do that before, it literally is a headache tracking where all the mobs are going, and they they literally just get shot all over the place. I've done it a few times in the past. Okay, they took down one Mechagodzilla. Other Mechagodzilla with his turning hands is just... 
He doesn't know what to do. He's killed one Hercules Beetle. He is moving on to the other. He's literally dealing a 20 some damage a hit. Whereas the Hercules, oh no, Hercules Beetle's dealing 20 some damage a hit. I don't know how much the Mechagodzilla's dealing, but jeez. This poor man's getting destroyed by a beetle. Why didn't they use that in the movies? Just summoning some mutant beetle, I'm sure it'll win. Well, he won, but with 61 health. He's so dying next round. You know, I think I know how I want to do it. I think I know how I want to do it. This might be unfair, but considering the vast size of him, I think what I'm going to be doing is sort of a wave-based thing. I've never done this before, but you guys can let me know if you think this is still fair or not. But I might only have no other choice since I can't fit too many in the arena. I'm going to spawn in the amount of Hercules Beals I would and know that I'm spawning in two Mecha Godzillas, but I'm only going to spawn in one. Let them do their fight since he can, he's an AoE attacker. It's not like he can only focus one mob at a time. Um, I'm going to let him do his fight and if he dies before they all die, I will spawn in the next one. That way I don't have to worry about like the spacing in the arena and worry about them not having room or anything. So all right, they killed the one. Second one. And I'm going to do it this way from now on, at least for this fight, just because of how big he is. He takes up the arena. And also, there's less chance for there to be lag and stuff. So, I think that's a, a very fair way of doing it. But we'll see. Yeah, they, they're just they're just smacking him. Also, he's not doing his uh, fireball move this time. He, he's just not doing it. Uh, all right, well, P died. So 101 health, 129 health, and full health. Yikes. All right, looks like it's three on three this time. So again, one, two, three, and then one. We'll get him going. And then we'll do another and then another. Again, this is the most fair way of me doing it, guys, just because, like I said, with the... the oh, jeez. He's doing this, the shield thing, which means fire. So, oh, the fire only engulfs the stage when he does this. There must be a chance of him doing it, though, so. Again, I can't see anything when he does this move. Like, it literally is just fire in the air. It's not, fire's not even going on the blocks. It's like, go, look at this. This was only the first Mechagodzilla of the round, too. They're, they're having trouble this time. Like, he just wiped them. Yeah, when he does that shield move, it just destroys. All right, well, uh, you won this round, Mecha Godzilla. So that was the three-on-three -three round. Uh, I need to clear the field. <laughs> All right, do that, do that. We should be good. Yeah, perfect. Um. All right, so we need four Hercules Beetles. One, two, three, four. Versus one. Let's go. Again, when he does the shield move, he wins every time. It seems to be no competition, but if he doesn't do the shield move, he gets taken down so quickly. The shield offers him so much protection, and then, again, if there's no shield, it's just, you're done, son. Again, we're still on three Mecha Godzillas. Just keep that in mind. So they're going to kill the first one. Yep, they took him down. All right, let's spawn in the second... And again, I'm only going to do this for mobs that are so massive that it would cause, like, entity lag and, like, other things. Just before anyone gets too uppity about this. I mean, you saw with just two of them, it was getting too crazy. And they didn't even do their shield move. Alright, and then one more. Let's go. They're just, they're just swinging their horns. They don't care. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. running on three hours of sleep right now and I do not want to sound tired. I probably do sound tired. Who knows? But anyway, Mega Godzilla about to be Oh, he did a heal move at the end there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he started to heal really quickly. Well, anyway, 72 health, 26 health, and 102 health. And one of them did die in the uh, carnage there. So we're on to four versus four. Let's do it. One, two, three, four versus the first one. They're like, kill him! Make him suffer! Or were we already on four? No, yeah, yeah, the, wait, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, four versus four. 
Again, someday someone's gonna actually make a very accurately counting mob battle mod that, like, counts for you. I didn't mean to do that. Redo the round. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Versus one. Sorry about that, guys. And then I have to fight three more. But yeah, someday someone's gonna make an accurate, like... I need a counter on the board. I need, like, a... Like, that I can customize every match and only have a track, like, certain entities. Like, you give it- you right-click the counter with, like, the spawn eggs, and it counts how many kills each spawn egg gets. I think that would be really cool. Alright, first one. Here's the second one. I think that would be a really cool thing, that it would, like, display on, like, the top right-hand corner or something. Like, Hercules Beetle, three kills or whatever. Or, um, Hercules Beetle, win one, one round or something like that. It- I'm sure you can technically do that with the uh, scoreboard command, but you'd have to manually keep changing it. I want one that like auto updates that can track correctly and stuff like that'd be really cool. I guess the most other way is like if you live stream this or something, or if I did this on a server with someone else, they could like accurate up like counts constantly update it for me or something so it would look seamless, you know. Anyway, that was two. Here's Trace. Or he took down one. And the other beetles are definitely damaged. It's not like he's not dealing the damage to them. It's just they're, you know, they're, you know, they're, we all know their lineage is or spawn. They know what they're doing. All right, final one, because it was four versus four. And again, just to say for anyone who's just tuning in, because this is a premiere video, the reason why I'm spawning a one at a time, even though it's technically four versus four, is because I could not spawn, oh, there's the shield move. I could not spawn in this many Mecha Godzillas and hope for it to either not lag or for there to even be space to spawn everything in. You saw when I summoned two Mecha Godzillas, it was struggling with the uh, entity space and whatever. Yeah, the fire just cooks them. When that fire occurs, it's just straight up cooking them. And also, I'm pretty sure he can't take damage for a short period of time after that. Yeah, he won. So, four on four, the Mecha Godzillas won the round. He tried doing the shield move again when I killed him. Do you guys see that? Anyway, uh, let there be water. Let there be... <sighs> it literally erased. I don't know if you guys see now why it's like it's still spawning water around me. It's because it's literally he breaks blocks. So it messes up my, my, my erasing of the water. Because he breaks the blocks. And as you guys know, if one block break happens... Uh... Minecraft can't figure out what to do. Something they've never fixed in all of it. Look at that. It's something they've never fixed in all vanilla Minecraft. Look at that. There's literally a source block inside of the thing. That's so dumb. How can there be a source block in a source block? Like, I'm used to playing the OG Minecraft where this can't exist. So for me seeing this now, it's blasphemy. There's literally... Look at that. There's literally water here because of the fences and them not counting as blocks anymore for water so it's like creating its own source blocks look at this also i'm sorry that i have to do this during the video but this is just to prove a point like this is just to prove how stupid this is and you people wonder why i never use the fill command <laughs> i'm kidding but i know their option today is the fill command because of this reason because if it wouldn't been the dang water it would have been the fire there's still water back there <sighs> anyway, moving on to the next round. And this is going to be the semi-final round. I'm going to do six Hercules Beals. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Versus, I'm going to do five Mecha Godzillas. So here's the first one. Let's do it. I mean, if they kill him quickly, he won't have time to do a shield move. But if he does a shield move, he pretty much wins the game. And again, for anyone worried about the arena looking bad or getting destroyed or whatever, I have the replacement worlds. I don't ever use the source world. I use a duplicate world. If you're wondering how to do that, literally go into your .minecraft file and copy and paste. Like, copy the world and repaste it. That's all I do. This is always a copy world. I've only once recently accidentally used the source world, but I'm not going to tell you which video that is because you would never tell the difference. If anyone's bored, feel free to go through all my recent mob battles and try to figure out which video it was. <laughs> also, this is 
such a, a, a stupid thing for him to do. He's like, lol, I can just sit here and spam the shield move and kill you all and cook you like bacon, lol. This is like the second Mecha Godzilla out of the five, too, and he's gonna win because of this. Jeez. I'm sure people have already come to their conclusions about which mobs are stronger based on things, but... Wow, they beat him. Alright, I'll give you guys the third one. Have fun. I don't think you're gonna survive at this point because you're cooking, but... <laughs> They're trying. Literally, he's just roasting bugs over an open flame. But... Oh, he got the heal move off. It's rare that we've seen that. Alright, well, they're gonna kill him. They're actually going to. Alright, they're still alive, so fourth one. Have fun, guys. Oh, he's doing the shield move now. Yeah, now they're definitely dead. It's over. They had a chance, but now that he's doing the shield move as well, it, it's... Yeah, he won. He just vaporized them. Any shot they had is is over. Speaking of, where did the water come from? Oh my gosh. All right, let me just quickly. Where's the thing? Where's my... I can't even see it. This is so stupid. All right, done. Done. All right, where is it? Right here. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put redstone blocks there. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Do you guys care? I don't care. Imagine not caring about the water. Someone's going to tell me, but Austin, you could have just done this command and it wouldn't have done it. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Or my kids ever again. My kids are the Hercules Beatles. I, I was secretly rooting for them the entire time. I rigged the fight so they would win. I'm joking before anyone starts taking me too seriously. Jeez. Have some sense of humor, guys. We're literally having Mechagodzilla fight against a Hercules Beetle from Ore Spawn in version 1.16. When did we ever think that would happen? Anyway... Uh, final round, I'm going to summon in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Not that it makes too much of a difference. And they're going to be fighting 6 Mecha Godzillas. Here's the first one. If he does the move right off the bat for the fire, they've lost. If they it, Literally, it's kill all the Mecha Godzillas before the fire happens. <laughs> That's their goal as, the, as a team of Hercules Beetles. Well, Austin, this isn't the Hercules Beetle. He was never this color shade, and he never moved his head like that. And his wings never moved. He looked stupid at 1.7. He didn't have any animation. He just flung you in the air. Why is this one not fling you in the air? I want a refund. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think of every single hate comment that I could possibly get about this Hercules Beetle at once, and I just said it all. Also, in other news, Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead is coming to Fortnite. I think in tonight's item shop. I'm not entirely sure. So if your person that cares about that... We got Rick Grimes. Yay. Anyway. You can't see, but I gave two thumbs up and made a derpy face. Because I don't have a face cam. You guys want to help me buy a face cam? Here's what you got to do. Uh, join the membership thing that's on the screen right now. Just quickly scroll down. The bottom is premiere or video. There should be a join button. If not there, click the link in the description or wherever you see it. Consider becoming a channel member. Help support me and my funding of, of making stupid videos like this. Just kidding. It's not stupid. It's a pretty fun video. People are going to watch this video like a year from now and be like, But Austin... You use face cam already. Why are you doing this right now? Can you tell I haven't had sleep? Is, is it affecting my personality at all? Or am I always like this? Let me know. Wow, they killed that third one quickly. All right, on to the fourth. Remember, they have to kill six of them this round. They're trying. They are trying. But the minute he does the fire move, it's over. You would say it's a shield to protect himself, but let's be honest, it's an attack move. It's just disguised as a shield. It gives them invincibility frames. That's it. Sorry, sorry, IF frames. You gotta say IF frames now because people know, or I frames, I frames. That's what the kids these days call it. I think this is number five. I don't even know how many Hercules Beals have died, if any. It's hard to tell. Also, some of them just don't do the fire move. I think it's because they're like too close to the edge here and they're firing outside. But then again, you would still hear the explosion. Anyway, they clean that one up. All right, final one. May the odds be ever in your favor, Mecha Godzilla. I'm rooting for you. Maybe there's just a chance that they don't feel like using the fire movement or something, because most of the time they use it, other times they don't. And I think the, when I say fire move, I mean the explosions that he's causing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Can they win now? They have to survive this fire and then kill him off. I don't think they're going to win. We'll see. We shall see. They're still alive down there. I still see them, the cooking roaches that they are. I won't want any caramelized bug for dinner. Alright, they're back to hitting him. Also, he healed back up to full when he did that. 
I still see I still see big flames. That means there's still Hercules Beetles down here. Again, hard to tell. There's fire everywhere. You doing it, guys. You're doing it. You did it! Woo! Good job! I am gonna let the fire take its course though. I'm not gonna race the fire. I'm gonna see. Can you guys survive the flames? Can one of you? Okay, one of you is not on fire successfully, so I'm gonna count that as a victory for you guys. Here, I'll wipe all the here, I'll wipe it out for you. Don't worry, don't worry. There you go. So how many survived? One, two, three, four, five. And you guys can see all their health. They're all pretty damaged. It's not like they were ever at full health or anything. But that's gonna conclude today's mob battle. Just keep in mind, if we suggest Mecha Godzilla again, this is the kind of length, lengths I'm going to have to go to to secure the uh, peace and tranquility of the multiverse. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, share, support, consider subscribing. If you're new, and comment down below to what you'd like to see next. The most thumbs up comment will be the one picked. And I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, but if you're still watching this point, which probably the three of you are, um, just so you know, when I picked this fight, it is currently 12.01 p.m. EST. Before anyone gets on me about, well, actually, Austin, this fight won because I'm looking at this video at 3 p.m. EST, and clearly this other fight won over this one. So I think you were playing favorites. Well, I wasn't. This was the fight that won when I looked. There was like a three way tie below this fight. So, like, this was first place at 11 likes. And then there's three other votes that were at 10 likes. That's also the reason why I'm saying this. So, because it got pretty close. Just saying. Uh, either way. That's going to do it. Enough of my rambling. I'll see you in the next video. I'm doing a Fortnite video later, so check that out if you want, if you care. I don't care. All right. Bye, guys.